the uh, environmental issues, uh, there are many challenges, but uh, bioeconomy could be one of the solutions. Uh, we are seeking opportunities to add more value to the to the products, for example, uh, to add more value uh, to the to the forestry, and the bioeconomy could be a solution there. The second challenge is uh, how to replace uh, plastic. So again, the uh, let's say uh, chemistry uh, from uh, from uh, from from the bioeconomy could be could be an excellent uh, replacement for uh, for plastic. And overall, I think the knowledge and awareness of uh, how this bioeconomy could be could play a positive role in uh, in in the environment, uh, environmental uh, policies. And uh, and life and uh, life in uh, and in society overall is uh, is uh, is really important, especially uh, in uh, in in younger generation and in in their minds because their awareness is higher, but uh, nobody is, uh, is is speaking to them uh, properly. So so I guess that uh, the during the next years, when Estonia is um, uh, let's say uh, uh, in a process in uh, mapping down the uh, opportunities and challenges uh, for the bioeconomy sector as a strategic one is, uh, is, uh, is let's say the next years are busy in, in that field because we don't have any, any uh, strategic plan for bioeconomy as such. We have, let's say, uh, different uh, plans, uh, long-term plans for the envir environmental sector overall, but not uh, not especially for, for bioeconomy and then currently there has been a decision that after 2020 this, uh, this kind of plan will be, will be made.